Now you've got to be very conscious of the temperature of the new water when you're doing water changes, particularly big water changes like 50%, because what a lot of people will do is they'll bring the aquarium down 50% and they'll do a water change and then um, they, if they're not paying attention to the temperature of the water, then if they're using, for example, cold tap water and they've got, say, a 28 degrees fish tank, then that's going to cause a big drop in the temperature of the aquarium, which can make the fish sick. Now, the other thing to consider is that a 50% water change, if you drop it half the aquarium, is not a 50% water change at all. It's probably a 60 or even a 70% water change because there's a lot of displacement in the bottom of the aquarium. Often you've got lots of rocks, you've got lots of gravel, you've got lots of stuff that's going to displace the water. So the bulk of the water is really in that top half and there's way less water in the bottom half. So you can go changing what you think is physically a 50% water change, but you could actually be doing a 60 or a 70% water change. And then the new water goes in and it could be distinctly different from the water temperature that was in there or other parameters such as pH, KH and others can be distinctly different and then you can shock your fish. So I'm really a bigger fan of small regular water changes instead of the big over overhauls and if you are doing the big overhauls really go out of your way to make sure that your parameters including temperature are the same. I'd rather see you do two small water changes than one big one because it can shock the fish and it can cause you all sorts of troubles.